So now that we've been able to read an Excel file and create a list of lists from our row and column data, uh, we've opened up the sample file for this tutorial. This, tu this sample file has a custom node in it, which will help us e more easily parse out the XYZ data to create our points. But let's briefly walk through how that's set up. Uh, zooming into our first three nodes, this is, these are the nodes uh, identical to what we just set up if I hit the Run button. You can see we now have an array where we have a list for with an item of each list for representing a row and each item within those lists represent a column. So this is point 0.0, point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3 of the adaptive component. And you can see if I scroll all the way down, we have 225 total adaptive components. We're going to have a 15 by 15 grid. So moving from this step, you can see we have a list of lists where each point is represented uh, as the first item of that list. If I transpose this entire list, this is flipping the columns with the rows. So what this is now giving us is the first point of every adaptive component in one list, the second point, and so on. And now this is getting a little tricky, but since we're importing from Excel, we're just going to be reading this as a string, which is just reading as a text. It's not yet converted to numbers. So the next step is to split this string. And if I go to our search bar, I can type in string split. And you can see we have a variety of operations that we can perform on strings. So what we're going to do here is use the string split, and it's asking us for a separator. In this case, we'll make a comma. So you can see here in this first item, we have negative 11, comma, negative 74. We want to split these so we can get our x and y, z, x, y, and z values. So moving forward, we now have our strings. If I open that up, you can see it's created a list of lists of lists. And we now have three items in each one of these lists. This is our x value, this is our y value, and this is our z value. So there are some workarounds here while we get the strings to numbers uh, better figured out from Excel. Uh, and I'm sure as the developers uh, make new releases, uh, this type of workflow will be more streamlined. But for now, we're using this custom node to turn these numbers into a point. So this index is asking us for which point we want to select on our adaptive component, which is, here's, here's our first list, which is showing us the first point. So we're, we're taking the zeroth list of this entire list, and we're exporting these as final points. So just very briefly, I'll show a custom node. I'm double clicking on it here. And you can see we're now in the edit custom node environment. I just minimize the library. So these are our two inputs. There's an actual node called input, which will drive how our custom node is set up. It's taking our point list and our index. And if I zoom all to the right, you can see our output is the final point. So zooming out, you can see it's just a variety of list operations. By using list map, we're taking the subcategory of each list. We're selecting the first item for our x, the second for our y, and the third for our z, and then creating a point from this. So let's close out of the custom node. This is really helpful because these custom nodes, uh, they carry over. So if I copy and paste this custom node, I can just edit one and have them all update. So now I have a list of points, and these are 225. These are the first points of our adaptive component. I'm going to scroll this down and copy these two. Okay, so it lagged on me a little bit, but it seems to be working now. So I'll copy these two again. We're going to have four total. them down and now we're going to change this value to zero, the second value to one, the third value to two, the fourth value to three. And let's hit run. You can
can see in our preview over here, we now can start to read how our surface is subdivided. I'm going to maximize our screen and let's hit Control G. And do the same trick we've done before where we put this in the upper right. Hit Control G again to go back to node space. So now we have a list representing each point of a polyline or a polygon which will be generated by this panel. And the next step is to create a list of these lists. So I'll search for create list. Dropping this onto the canvas, I hit this three times to create a list of four indexes. Let's hit run to see our results. So we now have a list of four items, each containing 225 points. So the last step to create a list of 225 panels with four items in them is to transpose our matrix. This is the same step as in Excel, switching our columns and our rows. So I'm dropping that onto the canvas, plugging our output and hitting run. I think I jumped the gun there, let's hit run again. And hit run one more time. And there we go, we have an array where each item in this list is representing an adaptive component. And then we have four actual dynamo points which are still referenced to that Excel file. So this some work was involved here, but just bear in mind that we can turn all of this into one custom node. So you never have to repeat it from that given Excel spreadsheet. And I just wanted to walk through to show a few more list operations, but it's all based on the underlying data of this Excel spreadsheet. So it's a quick way to array points from uh, arbitrary data sets.